The following is a fan-made podcast production. The rolled players do not own or have any official involvement in the development and distribution of the Star Trek franchise. Star Trek Adventures is developed by Modiphius Entertainment, and the stories we tell are not to be taken as official Star Trek canon. Accessing log 4836. Decrypting. Playback commencing. To Bell, personal log. Stardate 9718.6. At last, my 30-year exile on this forsaken space station is coming to an end. My transfer to the USS Eupraxia as chief engineer has just come through. If I didn't know better, I would suspect that my assignment out here at Starbase 364 was an attempt of some top brass to shake my resolve to stay in Starfleet. I won't deny that it gives me some small satisfaction to say to no one in particular that I win. My time here has shown me that while some of the things my mother told me about Klingons are not true, most of it is. I do not consider it an exaggeration to say that if I never see another Klingon again, it will be too soon. But in light of recent events, it appears that peace with the Klingon Empire is now more than a pipe dream, to use the old Earth expression, and that is in no small part to the credit of Captain Spock, who is to be Captain of Eupraxia. Captain Spock is surely one of the most talented and storied officers in all of Starfleet, and it is satisfying to think of serving under his leadership. But I think it would be fairly uncontroversial to assert that Captain Spock is an idealist. He expresses far too much of his human side to be a truly unromantic, hardline Vulcan realist. With one threat upon the Federation's border now minimized, I am sure that he is casting an optimistic eye farther afield. But peace achieved in one unlikely place is not a basis to believe that it can be achieved in another. I am not even entirely sure that logic can demonstrate that peace on all sides is even a desirable goal. In any event, I have a suspicion that Captain Spock is directly responsible for my transfer to the Eupraxia. But I'm afraid that if he's looking for advice or to prove a point, he will find me far more of a hardline Vulcan realist than he is. I suppose time will tell. The Rolled Players present Ex Astris, Star Trek Adventures, a real play Star Trek Adventures podcast starring the vocal talents of Courtney St. Gillet, Ian Helmick, Jingwei Patrick Sullivan, Emily Morcos, and Sawyer Payne. Special thanks to Jacqueline Hodgkins for our cover art, Symbol Bird and the Free Music Archive for our theme music, and to you, our listeners. For updates and ways to get involved, please consider following us on Twitter or Patreon, which you can find in this episode's info. Live long and prosper. Thank you.